So I want to begin by asking uh, the co-creators of the mm-hmm. show. Yes. These two. You two. Um, <laughs> uh, I I should sit. No. No, this is more. Did you just hold hands? Yeah, there you go. That's the move. This is how we work. This is how we work. I tell you right. Okay, so how did you get to be the co-creators of the show? But Brain gets to her mouth. Tell me about, I mean, obviously you guys were fans. I was, is maybe a loose term, but fans. Yeah, that's a very loose term. Of these types of shows. She's a super fan. I'm the house. Yeah, I've seen every episode of The Housewives, even the DC series, which they'd like us to forget, but we don't. <laughs> you talk about Never the being inspired to create mm. this version. Mm. Yeah, well, it was just so ripe. You know, I know a lot of people say, oh, it's already a parody of itself, but I don't think so. I watch it as a true soap opera, and so I feel like these are my stories. And so we, when we got together, we were like, how can we take this and skewer this and still make it a parody, but also something watchable for seven episodes. So you follow their stories, you follow their lives, their relationships, that they become, you know, bigger than life human beings, but still people, people, you know what I mean, that you want to watch. Yeah, and, and for the actresses, uh, for all of you, mm-hmm. how did you sort of create your characters? Did you do a lot of like watching these shows and sort of say, well, I'm going to be that one, or I'm going to you know, take a little bit of this, or take a little well, bit of that? Well, they wrote a full script, okay. so our characters were created for us. They, but based on versions of... Based on versions of we, Real Housewives. We, yeah, we kind of created certain characters, and then we sent them... If you, they hadn't, you had watched everything. But if they hadn't we seen hadn't everything, everything you'd already seen then it. everything else. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd never seen one. Really? Yeah. Okay. So we yeah. just would send them, you know, this is kind of what we're basing it on, but then they, they made it their own. Yeah, yeah, it seemed like when we got the script that they had done this idea, which I think is genius, of like every character is kind of a stand in for a full city in a way. And so it's like if all the franchises were all on together. one show together. Uh, which is a dream that I'm still rooting for. So it had like an all-star. All-star. Oh my yeah. gosh. All-star game. How they, I didn't make that no, for It will crazy. now. Every once in a while, no, 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 every once in a while they visit. Like Brandy and Yolanda visited a one time. One time. That was a real treat. I'd love to see more. Crossover. Yeah, I would like some crossover Why too. did they visit? <laughs> it seemed like Brandy it and Carol. Car- yeah, it was thin. It was definitely produced. It was like a different stroke. You mean it was like. Yeah. But that yeah. was genius. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Sorry. That was genius. Or Homicide in Law and Order. Very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Or Private yeah. Practice. Yeah. Or private yeah. Practice yeah. and Grey's yeah. Anatomy. They used to do that Love a lot. Girl. I love that. I love that. Kristen, you're not a fan of the Housewives. No. No, not at all. You made it very clear. Kind of parroting it and being part of well, um, I felt great uh, to to you know stick it to them, <laughs> and it was really nice. I thought I think our show is has about a hundred percent more going on in it with plot and character and structure and fun than one episode. Even like five minutes. No, a season. Whatever. I hate. I hate them. <laughs> it's too so boring to me. Because so I have to say, I never watched any, and they were like, your character's Little Lisa Vanderpump, Little Sonia, so watch out Beverly Hills, watch out New York. So I watched one, and I was a little nervous to watch, because I was like, what if I get addicted? What if I can't, you know, I'm going to be up for seven nights, like, mm-hmm. binge watching. Didn't do it for me. I also was a little like, nothing happened. Nothing happened. But I only but saw one episode of each. Mm-hmm. I understand. <laughs> I know. Well, Casey, We're going to get to words. I would disagree. <laughs> I would. We're going to come to blows. Have you run into any of the ladies? No, I haven't been hobnobbing with that much, but I met Ramona Singer on Watch What Happens Live, which was a dream, and she uh, made me a bitch. You guys are fabulous. You yeah, are you amazing. guys are real, a real duo. A yeah, real, real duo. Yeah. I was going in there thinking I was going to give it to her, but no, by the end I just ended up kissed her ass. Kissing her ass. her. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to tell her what's what, and by the end I was like, oh, no. She was like, are you on my side? And you are like, I'm on your side. I was like, Casey! Guys! You know, you don't know what happens in that clubhouse. They, they give you alcohol <laughs> under the lights. And then I will say for my bachelorette party this year, I was gifted a beautiful gift from Danielle Schneider mm-hmm. and another, and another girlfriend. girlfriend. They had a Kim Richards spotting at a dry bar out here, and they got a signed napkin. That's all we had on us. <laughs> uh, from her. <laughs> and a picture. And a picture, and it was really... Did she have a picture in there? She had a picture on her? Uh, no, we, I took one on the Oh, oh. Yes. I'm a huge fan of Paul Shear. Oh. And I love that he is your Andy oh. Cohen. Oh, yeah. Can you talk about getting, working with Paul and getting Paul to be Paul produced this whole show. Yeah. So Paul has been in from the ground floor. He, his wife is June, who's Casey's writing partner, and June is also a huge fan of The Housewife. So he has sort of become a fan 
through her. <laughs> and so he was our producer on this, has been a, a supporter and collaborators from the beginning. And so when it came time, we had to have an Andy Cohen, and we were like, Paul, you have to, you are literally our Andy Cohen. And so he stepped in and was brilliant, and, and it was so fun to have him. So, so funny. He's so Could you just tell me a little bit about your character? So a little bit about Faye. We'll start with Faith, Faith, she, uh, Faith, uh, jack of all trades, mm -hmm. and I would, and she would say, master of all trades as well. <laughs> um, supreme confidence, just you know, in there, taking care of it, having the time of her life, no holds barred. You cannot That's stop what's on Faith. Her mind, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're, you're oh, sorry, I'm Shauna, and Shauna is uh, likes to spend some money, even money that she does not have, and that <laughs> comes to bite her in the butt, as you will see. And then she has also got a problem with rage, and so she, um, so that that comes through uh, through a lot of the series. So I think those are her best qualities, I would say. I play Tawny St. John, a socialite and gold digger, mm -hmm. essentially. I'm married to a man that I'm hoping will die, and I do great charity work for the city of Orlando and have a lot of great businesses, Philanthropy. such as eyebrow extensions. I love that. Oh. Forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that, too. Uh, I play Veronica von Wanderbaum, and um, I am uh, an entrepreneur. I come from a long line of snack shack, putt putt empire. Um, and I am, you know, very comfortable with my sexuality. I did. Too comfortable. Too yeah. comfortable, yeah. some might say. And I am um, very, very close with my dog. And I also date uh, a man. Let's say boy. I was gonna say. Uh, who recently was bar mitzvah, and <laughs> you know, and we have a lovely relationship, and I think it's completely natural. Mm -hmm. my, my character is Amanda Simmons, and she was a child a star in her own mind. Um, she was in a commercial, a local commercial, and um, she uh, is an addict. <laughs> dark end. Yeah, dark, dark end. end. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of dropped well, off. The last thing I'll just <laughs> there's Allie, too. Yes, yeah. I play yeah. Allie, a friend of the Hot Wives, who's oh, always yeah. trying to stir up trouble and get in there. And she's no officially wants. a Hot Wives. No, but she could be if she wants. <laughs> she, she makes very little. Well, she, no, she, she could. She could. I know she's not. She's not. She's not. But she could. No, she has not. Yeah, she she the producers have chosen to not let her be, but she could be if she wanted to be. And the producer said yes. She is not a Hot Wives. She did not. And I never know why Allie's there and she's well, just always trying but yeah. I'm there. But there she yeah, is. She is. Uh, well last thing I'll just ask is why Orlando? Why was that the Because it's this Why not? Well, being a Florida girl myself really? okay. and Donna had spent some time in, in the great state. Um, <laughs> it felt like the kind of town that was sort of, you know, New money, super fast. Rich built, with culture. Yeah, yeah, rich with culture. <laughs> <laughs> A wonderful ecosystem. History. History. Rich history. A lot of murder. Yeah. Did you all spend some time in Orlando? Oh, yeah. Oh, we used to vacation I there. I've never been to Orlando. Oh, well, you're oh, yeah. Out. They, 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 we vacationed there all the time, fun. like very every fun. summer. Disneyland. It's, it's a perfect great. place. Yeah. Perfect place. Perfect place for it the It is beautiful. Yeah, a lot yeah. of money, a lot of class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you guys have a lot of class. Oh, 